Okay, this is going to be a video of me complaining about perplexity. Now, honestly, I like perplexity. I've been in the pro subscription and in general, I've been using perplexity AI for almost two years now. And I love almost all features that it offers. I like the fact that I can access multiple AI models in one platform. I also like that I can find answer or do research quickly in just a few seconds. I also like the fact that I can have the $5 credit every month for the Sonar API, which I think is really amazing. And there are some other tiny features in Perplexity that when you add up together will make this AI platform to be extremely compelling. However, this is definitely not the best or I would say the most perfect AI platform because Perplexity do have some problems and for some reason they're not getting any better so in this video i'm going to show you my complaints about perplexity and i do believe that my complaints here are overlapping with other concerns that people have in perplexity and there are three points that i'm going to make in this video so for some of you that are considering to subscribe to perplexity pro Hopefully, this video will give you insight that you probably never heard before, so you will know exactly what you're getting at when you're paying for the pro subscription on Proplicity. Now, let's talk about the first complaint that I have. So the first complaint is the UI inconsistency. Proplicity keeps adding features, but they're also making the UI to be less and less understood in a way that they kept changing the ui to the point that some features are either being moved or removed altogether so the ui that we have today is definitely different than the other uh, one that we have maybe just a few weeks ago and perplexity they just kept changing the ui maybe it's for the better but sometimes they do miss the mark one example here is this reddit user is complaining that the writing mode in perplexity has disappeared this is actually a very old feature but apparently now perplexity has removed this writing mode completely and now you cannot use it anymore there's nothing you can do it is something that the company can just do anytime they like and you as the user just cannot do anything other than accept that the feature that you like in perplexity is no longer here and you have to move on and this is not the only one. There is also this image generation feature in Perplexity that used to be easy to access when you are creating a new thread in Perplexity. The image generation button will appear on the right side of the screen, but now not anymore. Now you can still generate AI images using Perplexity, but it's just not straightforward. And I actually have made video on how you can navigate around that. So you can check it out. But in general, it's really kept changing. Perplexity kept changing. And I'm not the only one making this complaint. There are so many people having this problem. And uh, I do believe in part because of Perplexity is not the first party AI company. And that's why they just kept adding more and more features. And sometimes people just need to relearn everything again when they are using Perplexity. I think if you're subscribing to Pro Subscription, you will see that there are a few things change every week or every month and you have to learn how to use this platform again so that's really annoying and secondly it's still related to the inconsistency in perplexity so perplexity has multiple platforms you can use perplexity on mobile you can use it on the web you can also use it on the desktop application for windows and mac os but despite they are being called perplexity for mobile, for desktop, or for web. They do have different features. So I'm going to give you one example here. In the mobile version, there is this voice mode, which basically allows you to communicate with AI with just your own voice. And then AI will answer with a very natural human-like voice, which I think is quite interesting and maybe useful if you have, if you prefer to have a conversation with AI. However, despite this feature seems to be everywhere in a lot of AI tools like ChatGPT, unfortunately, we just don't have voice mode in the desktop or in the web version of Perplexity. So if you're using the 
desktop and the web unfortunately the voice mode is not here just yet maybe they're going to add it but right now we still don't have the voice mode on desktop and on the web but that's not the only one the image generation capability which is the thing that i have talked previously is also not available on the mobile version it is only available on the desktop and on the web version so if you're using mobile you cannot generate ai images in perplexity it is really strange because consumers expecting that when you're using an application regardless of the platform you still be able to access all the features that you have been paying for but for some reason in perplexity that's not the case so you have to be aware that if you are if you want to use one platform only then you need to know the limitations that that platform have and there are a bunch of other things that you probably need to uh, check because i think they kept changing the ui they kept changing the features the position so you need to learn that as well okay that was the second point the third point that i'm going to make is related to something called the context window i think this point is not often understood and a lot of people just don't make this as a consideration but i think it is quite important so you probably have heard the news like gemini can access 2 million tokens that basically means that if you are feeding this ai like gemini 2 million tokens like let's say an entire book of harry potter it will be able to read all of that it can understand all of that and you can ask any aspect of that book and ai will give you the correct answer that's why the number of tokens is very important because it will make the answer to be more accurate but on perplexity unfortunately we are limited to only 32,000 tokens it's not bad but also it's far from the 2 million tokens that we have on gemini today so 2 million is just insanely long and i don't think everybody will need it but 32,000 in perplexity is just awful it's just not big and i've been i've been having this problem where i feed perplexity with a rather long document but somehow the answer from ai is just not following the instruction or the, or the data from the document because the document is just too long and it doesn't matter what AI model you're using in perplexity you could be using gbt sonar gemini grok it doesn't matter because at the end of the day perplexity will still limit you to only thirty-two thousand tokens so you need to know that that maybe if you have a plan to use perplexity to read documents I just recommend you to just use ChatGPT or Cloud directly because they will give you more tokens and that's and therefore it can understand or it can read the document with better accuracy than perplexity. So it's not the best tool for reading a document. And I think that's basically all the three points that I want to make in this video. Of course, there are other things that I have a problem with, like like perplexity has this habit of adding features that nobody's asking like there is this discover feature which is essentially news from across the globe and a lot of times just some biology some politics and some hollywood celebrity news that nobody cares but you cannot really control it it's just the popular news and for some reason it is being fit to your home page like if you visit the home page here you'll see the news right here even though you don't care about all of it and yeah, uh, that's just the thing that you have to deal with in perplexity. But regardless, I think I still love using perplexity despite all of the problems that it has. And hopefully this video will give you a glimpse about the problems that you might encounter in perplexity. So you will better prepare when using perplexity. But anyway, if you find this video to be useful or if you want to see more video like this one, Feel free to subscribe to this channel because I'm planning to make more videos about AI and particularly perplexity in the future. Anyway, once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you around.